Creating a row with a transparent texture in the background is really easy, and I'm going to show you how. So the first step in creating a row with a repeating background image is to go edit your page. So here's a page that I've been using as an example, and I'm just going to drop down row layouts. I'm going to hold one, and I'm going to drag it underneath my full width row. So here I have a new row right here. Now, what I recommend you do is you actually color the row that you want. So I'm actually going to make it full width, and I'm going to make the background the green color that I use for a lot of the Web Designers Academy sites. So I'm going to go to Color Presets and Green. So there we have a row with a green color. Now, that's only half the battle here because now we need to get a transparent pattern back there to repeat. So there are a lot of places where you can get transparent textures and you can even make your own. But here's one that I recommend and it's called transparenttextures.com. Now what's cool about this is you can change the color and you can actually see what it looks like on all the patterns, okay? Let's say that your website was red for some reason. You can see what these patterns would look like on your red website. It's very cool, very smart of them to do this. So I'm actually gonna go get the hexadecimal color of this green. Let's see, it's right here. And I'm gonna paste that in. That way I know exactly what it's gonna look like when I download it. So now you can just scroll down and you can take a look at how all these cool transparent textures would look over the color background of your website. So let's say I'm just going to pick one here. Um, how about, oh, I don't know. How about the cool stripey one? So let's say that we like this one right here. This is called checkered light emboss. You could pick any one. The process is going to be the same. So you want to click on download and that's going to download this file right here. See it right here on my desktop? Now, maybe you'd want to rename that file or do something with that file, but I'm just going to use it as it is. So I'm going to come here, and now we're going to change the background type from color to photo. And there we have the select photo button, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to drag this in, and then click on select photo. And now you can tell it, it is back here, but it looks really weird. Now what's happening is it is expanding the image to fill the entire section. See right here it says fill. We don't want fill, we actually want none. Now when we do none, and actually let me change this so that you see it, here we go. You can actually see the pattern right here, and that's great and all, we actually don't want the pattern just to be, you know, one little piece of it. We actually want it to fill everything. So right here where it says repeat, you want to drop that down, and you want to choose Tile. And when you do that, you see how it filled everything right here? So that's really all you got to do. You have to find your image, upload it, repeat, set the tile, make sure scale is set to none, and here you have a beautiful row with a very nice repeating uh, background texture.